Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, and I'm so glad that you're here because we're going to look at something a little bit different, I suppose, kind of, sort of. It's this guy. It is my custom, I guess, Siege? I don't know, Power of the Primes? It's a little battle master of Nebulon to go with the Transformer Selects Ricochet. And he's going to be our focus in the latest Got by True review. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, Dennis Moulton, a.k.a. Gotbot. As always, please like, comment, share, of course, subscribe, and while you're at it, that's right, hit the notification bell and let you know when I have new content going up, don't you know? And check out Machinery Man, the Everything Factor, Transformers, Collectors, NL, and me everywhere, especially on Thursday, late afternoon, early evening, with my new kind of live stream series. We'll, we'll see how it goes. It's something that I'm trying new. If you haven't checked one out yet, hey, try to swing by. I'd love to have a visit with you there as well. And this is not exactly... Um, fire drive. Now, I know that we've gotten a Siege fire drive, and it, this is that mold, so this is going to be pretty quick, but I wanted to kind of show you guys what I did to him to turn him into a nightstick, depending on the fiction that you follow, or, as I prefer to call him, Nebulon. This is the little target master partner for Selects Ricochet. So without any further ado, let's head over to the table and take a closer look at this guy. And here we are with just something quick. This is my custom Nebulon, or Nightstick, depending on the fiction you follow. Look, here's the thing. Ricochet doesn't have a whole lot of a backstory as it is. Sometimes he's known as Stepper. He was known as Stepper for a long time around the world, coming out of Japan, and eventually he got renamed here in North America to Ricochet. Why? I don't know. I have no idea why they just didn't keep the name Stepper. And... He has been partnered with Nightstick, but Artfire has been partnered with Nightstick, and we all know, most famously, that Cyclonus has been partnered with Nightstick. And there's been some fiction and some retconning and everything else saying that, hey, they're one and the same character, and that Nightstick betrayed Ricochet or Stepper or Artfire and turned to the Decepticons, blah, blah, blah. I personally like to think of both of them as two different characters. I like to think of this guy as Nebulon. Now, I could come up with some other name. Maybe he's just the mystery Nebulonian. I don't know. The mystery guy from Nebulon. I don't know. But I prefer to think of him that way. And unlike, here's the, here's the real, you know, kind of kicker of it all. Unlike all other target masters, battle masters, whatever, this guy has a bigger purpose because he's the life support system for Ricochet who was badly injured. Now, here before you, you see Fire Drive, or Fire Bolt, if you will, repainted. He goes with my Power of the Primes uh, Hot Rod slash Rodimus. And next to him is another Fire Drive that I have customized to be Nebulon. Yes, they are technically the same mold. Yes, they are very similar, but if you look at the animation model, or, well, the animation model for Fire Bolt, and the uh, like one piece of animation that we have for Nebulon you, from the, I think from the commemorative reissue box, if I'm not mistaken. And I think that that artwork it was by Wright's Nightstick. But if you look at them, they both kind of have, you know, white or at least light gray trousers and a, like a black shirt, you know, and a black haircut, whatever, and a red face. So they are very similar anyway. The differences that I wanted to show here are pretty minimal. The kind of white piece is on the back of Firebolt. It's on the arm of uh, Nebulon. Uh, the arms of Firebolt still have a little bit of white detailing inside of them. The arms of Nebulon do not. Firebolt still has some red on his chest and an Autobot symbol up on his head. Uh, Nebulon does not. When they convert, they look like this. They are very similar. On the bottom, we have Firebolt. And you'll notice that on the back of his arms, we have a little bit of white. He's just folded up like normal. Up top, we have less white on the arms, and he is folded up, but you'll notice that we have affixed the blaster that came with Ricochet to him. It's the same blaster that came with Power of the Primes 
jazz, but I did a little bit of kind of custom work with it. Here's how they both look being held by Ricochet. That being said, if I wanted to, I could take Nebulon and his blaster apart and uh, Ricochet here can kind of dual wield or Nebulon could stay affixed to Ricochet's arm or to his back for life support. So the real key to this custom is the blaster. I drilled a hole down through the top um, and then I made sure to kind of gouge out the space there. That allows me to take the five millimeter peg and slot it down there in position. I also uh, kind of worked a little groove up here on the top of the, I guess, muzzle so that the um, kind of edge of the like white piece that flips up over the back of Nebulon with the two blasters on it can kind of like nestle in there so it doesn't like shake all about. This is not the only way to do this custom. This is not the perfect way to do this custom, but it does allow a lot of versatility. So at the end of the day, as imperfect as he might be, I still like the little guy. I mean, yes, okay, the coloring, I could say is 10, but that's subjective. I mean, I've seen people do different things with the uh, legs being silver or some additional black paint apps or something like that. But for me, it's a 10. It looks like Nebulon, you know, for the uh, reference material, at least, that I use. His articulation exactly the same. The arms can go all the way around, out to the side, the legs forward, back, and he can do the splits. It's nothing spectacular. It's very average middle of the road. In terms of the conversion, it's also exactly the same. Unless you want to incorporate the blaster that comes with Ricochet, in that case, you have a little bit of parts forming, which might bother a few people. So overall, he's very average. I guess he's about a five, maybe a five and a half. But I do appreciate him, if for nothing else, but to complete this little duo right here. And here we are once again. So it's nothing special. I mean, I didn't really do anything with the lower body. I kind of covered in some red with some black paint for the upper body. And I tend to put his kind of stock blaster piece on his arm. Yes, I suppose it's a little bit of parts forming. Uh, I guess you could put that aside if you wanted to and just use like his stock uh, blaster. But most of the work to do this custom came in um, kind of drilling and cutting out parts of the actual uh, blaster. That being said, he can dual wield and have two separate, uh, I, I guess, accessories, so to speak. And I like that uh, I can kind of fold this guy up into his alt mode and attach him to the back. Not in the correct position, I realize that. But I can still sort of attach him to the back so that he serves as the like life support for Ricochet, a la his comic book fiction. Um, it's kind of a obscure character and this is kind of an obscure target master partner who I think most of us tend to know as more the partner for Cyclonus if he goes by the name Nightstick or for Artfire maybe. So that's why I sort of chose to stick with the name Nebulon who is maybe a Nebulon from Nebulon. You know what I mean. Anyway, uh, this works for me. Will we ever get an actual Battlemaster release of this character? Who knows? It would make sense, but in case we don't, I'm kind of glad to have this guy now to go with Ricochet. We'll see what happens down the road. Anyway, thanks for dropping by. Give me some of your very valuable time. If you're in a position to help the channel, there is a donate link down in the description. You don't have to feel obligated to do anything with it. I'm just glad that you guys come by for a visit. By all means, you know that I appreciate you giving me some of your time. And I very much look forward to the next time that you and I have a visit either in the live streams or right here inside the videos.